this is the first time we've uh, run a webinar on this topic. Um, and we ran it um, just to recognize, really, um, that we were hearing many pharma companies talking about their aim, um, their aim to become an integrated healthcare provider. Um, that can obviously mm -hmm. mean a lot of things. Um, we wanted to try and add some substance to that to see what people were actually doing. It's proven incredibly popular. Um, I think we've actually hit a new record. Um, we've got well over a 1,000 people having registered. Uh, and I can see on my screen here that uh, a large number of people have, have signed in live as well, which is absolutely fantastic. Just before we get going, just to make you aware, this okay. webinar has actually been produced um, not only because of the, the demand, but also to launch um, our upcoming flagship Barcelona conference, which takes place in March next year. Um, it was formerly two different events called SFE and one also called eMarketing. Um, but uh, these days, um, the, the silos between those two groups are, are being broken down. And really, this has become the destination event for the entire commercial pharma industry. We had um, over a 1,000 people attend last year, and uh, we expect a few more than that next time. So um, I'm not here to, to make a sales pitch, but um, I would uh, look out, if, if I were you, for the program and agenda, which should be arriving within the next week or two. Um, and have a look at whether or not you would like to come to Barcelona in March next year, because we'd uh, obviously love to see you there. The theme of that event is uh, the customer, um, and we're actually letting the customer take control of the event. The customer will be on the stage, um, and the customer will, uh, has dictated a large amount of the agenda. So I think it's very apt, really, and fits quite well with um, the, the need to sell outcomes, not medicines. Uh, I think the two themes fit together very nicely indeed. I'll introduce our first speaker in just a moment, but first, um, something for you guys to do. Have a look at your screens, uh, and you'll see a question, a little quick poll appear on the screen. Does your company want to be a healthcare provider? Um, and really, I'm looking for the pharmaceutical companies to reply to this, obviously. So if you're not from a pharmaceutical company, please just choose the top option, which is I'm not working for a pharma company. And then underneath, our CEO believes this is our future. So we're looking for those companies that are very much aligned to this with a lot of conviction. This is the way they're going forward. Um, yes, but we're considering other options. So maybe this healthcare provider is not top priority. It's one of several directions or several priorities that the company can see. Third one, I'm not sure. We have some major questions to overcome. So um, these are the companies, perhaps they've been going through some flux recently, perhaps there are parts of recent mergers, not quite sure about the, the overall direction. And then finally, this is for people who don't think this is where the company is going. My company doesn't believe this is the priority. Maybe your company has a, an absolutely here, fantastic pipeline that we're planning to do, uh, rely on those, uh, those new drugs coming through for the next uh, few years. Um, and if that's the case, then choose that. So. Um, Looks like we've got about 65, 70% of people have voted so far. I'll just give you three more seconds. Make your final choice. Right, let's have a look at the results, shall we? That's interesting. So 60%, sorry, 60 of people are, are not working for a pharma company. Um, but as for the rest, um, the highest proportion, 16%, um, believes this is our future. So. That's just a, it's obviously not a very scientific poll, but I think it shows a certain amount of uh, uh, interest here that this is the way forward. Um, yes, but we're considering other options also at 12%, not sure at 11%, so there's some uncertainty still from, um, from quite a lot of you. And only 2%, um, although I guess that's more like 4 or 5%, um, if you strip out the, the non-pharma companies, uh, don't believe that this is the priority. Um, so that's an interesting starting point and perhaps a, a good frame for, for the rest of the session.